Hey guys, this is TK. In this video, we are going to continue with where we left off with the previous video. Uh, with the previous video, we we uh, configured the AnyConnect client to connect to to VPN using the digital certificates. Uh, however, we used a user certificate as opposed to a machine certificate. So this video, we are going to take a look at how we can use a machine certificate and also we are going to take a look at uh, the AnyConnect client profiles so first thing that uh, what I did here I removed the user certificate from this client let's take a look at that this is the user certificates and there's no user certificates installed in this client let's take a look at the computer the machine certificates for this computer and there is one uh, this was uh, installed the same way that we did in the previous video for the user certificates and also CA certificate is also installed in the trusted root certificate servers uh, certification authorities uh, if you're not familiar with uh, these certificates uh, and how to install these uh, certificates in the client machine and also uh, ASA please check the previous video where we go in detail uh, showing how to do so uh, installing both uh, the identity certificate and the CA certificate uh, for ASA and also the root certificate root CA certificate and uh, the the user certificate for the uh, for the client so in this setup we don't have a user certificate we just have a, a computer certificate and what I noticed is that if I'm using the latest Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client 3.0 and I'm not 100% sure if this is related to this particular client that if you execute uh, AnyConnect Client just uh, from this user uh, privileges that we get this certificate validation failure and no valid certificate available for authentication error however if I execute this uh, client let me exit out of here if I change the the privileges for the any connect uh, uh, client to run as a uh, admin as an administrator. Let's take a look, and now you see that it's running as an administrator. And it works. That uh, for some reason that it's not. Uh, picking up even the user have this administrative uh, privileges uh, that it doesn't give the access to the certificate store uh, you have to execute the any connect client using the uh, uh, run it as an administrator so check over here and it's this program is uh, running as an administrator right now also if you take a look at uh, any kind of sessions that it actually picks up the user cert uh, from uh, users uh, common name as the username uh, for the machine certificate uh, we saw that it doesn't do that kind of a uh, username selection for the for the user certificates but it does for the machine certificates 
also the next thing that uh, we are going to look into is um, the the AD Connect client profiles uh, any kind of client profiles give you uh, certain features that you can download uh, to client uh, to execute uh, let's take a look at that and let me create a profile name uh, make it uppercase any connect and test one and let me assign this to a default group policy and if I edit this you see that uh, with the new 3.0 that they introduced this profile usage uh, folder and uh, if you uh, expand this, uh, so the, basically this this profile is an XML file that uh, that will be downloaded to the client during the initial negotiation uh, before the session established, uh, and we can uh, set up certain parameters like certificate store override. This will let the user, even if the user doesn't have any uh, privileges to the certificate store, to override that uh, privileges. Uh, also, you can select what certificate to choose. Um, you can leave it all. And in the preference part 2, you can actually enable uh, automatic uh, certificate selection here by unchecking the disable option and you have the opportunity to uh, configure the redundancy now you can assign a backup server in case if the primary ASA go down uh, you uh, the clients can connect to the second secondary ASA uh, for the AnyConnect assign a, some, some IP address and once this is applied to the group policy uh, you see that uh, it will be downloaded to the client next time when the client make a connection let me disconnect over here and let me start logging you see that uh, it's been downloaded to the client with those parameters that uh, that we set up like automatic uh, certificate selection uh, and so forth um, and you have many other options that you can go through uh, also you can configure client to do a certificate enrollment using a simple certificate enrollment protocol uh, also you can match certain criteria over here uh, backup servers are for redundancy you can assign the secondary ASAs and so forth thank you